Hi, what's up my single chats and toxic gamers? How are we all doing? Because everybody's mad right now. Everybody's hella disappointed. We're talking about Modern Warfare 3. Yes, guys, we are under Evo's Blade Truth era. Let's go for two likes on the video because, man, Sigas are saying, do not buy Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Sigas are also saying that it is three hours long, which I, I absolutely could not believe. But, yep, it is three hours long, guys. Three hours, three hours camping. $70, right? I mean, there we go, boys. And yesterday, we had the homie. I gotta show you this video, boys. But yesterday, we had the homie Noah J456 being disappointed. He went on record, said that he did not like the Modern Warfare 3 campaign. And Noah J456 is one of those guys that is, like, very, very positive. We talked about it. I covered that in the last video but today even the homie mr raffle waffles cannot believe it says i hate to say it but the story told in the modern warfare 3 campaign is a 2 out of 10 for me i mean tyra. legacy killer hd says that this has to be on purpose zero logical reason it's this large other than activision wanting players to not bother with other games due to limited console storage space that call of duty is mostly hogging up kind of brilliantly evil kind of because uh, pc gamer came out says that call of duty modern warfare 3 hogs up to 213 gigs yeah 213 gigs guys three hours campaign and i cannot say this in in english guys but in urdu i would like to say kutte de bacheo yaar Pencho, tu si isko 20 GB hona chahiye aur tum pencho 213 GB dal rahe ho yaar kuch to sharam kar lo yaar apne fans ki itni bhi to na lo na gaand madwao ja ke pencho kutte de bacche na ho to and everybody's mad right now we're going to be getting right into the story if you understand the language of pain like the video and this stuff it. actually genuinely annoys me but okay. let's talk about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 because yeah. it's genuinely a rip off this is a scam. It's $70 DLC. <laughs> it's something that has a three Man. hour campaign. Dog, I just cannot believe it. It is three hours long. A Holy. bunch of recycled maps. I mean, Damn. the fact that they're trying to package this. Not bunch of the entire game is recycled, bro. Oh but the, you know, the other day, guys, yesterday, in fact, I was streaming. And right before the right before we found out that this campaign is going to be three hours long, we were talking positively about this game. For the first time, I was being positive. Even I said that I was excited to watch it on YouTube, right? And uh, I, I was also saying that, bro, it is very, very good that Activision is giving us access to play. It, not me. I did not pre-order the game. Thankfully, save my money, right? You know what I'm saying? But thankfully, Activision is going to let people who pre-ordered the game play a week early. That is very, very good. I did like the idea, though, but it is three hours long, guys. Three hours long. ...is together and sell it as a full-price release. It's despicable. But let's talk about that. <laughs> What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy <laughs> here. Hi. Hi. Hope, Hope you're having a great... I'm not having a good day, my man. I am not... <laughs> Okay. Great day. If you can like this video and yeah, subscribe, subscribe if you haven't. Smash the like button, guys. Fat bomb bomb to the bumble cloud. Let's go for three likes on the video for three hours, guys. Already. So I'm gonna call this video. Do not buy Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. But uh, I mean, I know that a lot of you guys already aren't. I can see the analytics. A lot of people that watch my channel are people that love horror games and RPGs. And I mean, listen, man, this does not apply to my brothers here. Because my brothers be buying, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Everybody's, all of you singers are buying. And guys, listen, I mean, damn, right? At the end of the day, it's a video game, right? I fully recognize that. I understand that you only live once. And I said that, I mean, damn, right? Like I said that previously, I'll say it again, guys. Like, if you're gonna buy it, that's perfectly fine. But but at least uh, do your research, at least know like it's three hours long, multiplayer is like recycled master of 2009, zombies, anyone getting a map, bruh, it's gonna be on Warzone. Bruh. When I watched the campaign, it felt like that I was watching Warzone with AI bots and it got, all of a sudden it got cutscenes uh, every 15 minutes. That's how it felt like that. They, they really did butcher the campaign, bro. They really did zombies dirty. The only good thing based on what I've seen so far is, is the multiplayer, but it's old maps, right? Like once the nostalgia runs out, it's, it's it'll be what it'd be, but I'll wait like a month, two months uh, before getting the game, but right now it feels like that, bro. Like there's no point in getting the game though, to be honest. This doesn't really have either of those. I wanna know Even your if it does have zombie mode, you're not particularly scared 
of while playing Call of Duty, yeah. but I do feel like <laughs> as a person that covers gaming news, it's important to shine a spotlight on what I see as some of the grubbiest corners of the gaming industry. And here it is. Look at this. The Damn. game is literally $70 DLC. I don't mean that as an exaggeration. Inside it the is. code of the game, Modern Warfare 3. And we talked about it like a long time ago that inside the game files, it was discovered that it's a DLC. And if you don't want to believe it, because I mean, there are some suckers that are, you know, stuck in Activision Schlong Drive. Uh, and, and, and if you don't want to believe that, well, we got receipts, ladies and gentlemen. We got receipts, my brothers. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on PS5 doesn't have a platinum trophy. It's a DLC list for Modern Warfare 2. Only the PS4 version has a standalone list and platinum trophy. What the heck? What the heck? Because uh, as you guys can see, well, it got Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3 is listed under under that, bro. Like, wow! Three is actually just being shown as DLC for Modern Warfare 2. People are talking about the fact that they're getting error codes where it's asking you to insert last year's Call of Duty Damn. disc. But wait, it gets weirder than that. I have the game on PlayStation 5. Activision's. Thousand. All what they do is, yeah, I know we are under emo blame truth other, haha, yeah, but all they do is make these friendly UAVs online. They make these friendly UAVs online, bro. That's all what they care. It feels like, guys, listen, man, I know it's gonna sound. Man, like, ever since they tried to hire people for diversity to meet their diversity quota strong independent no need no man ever since that started happening it feels like the call of duty games and gaming as a whole started going downhill i'm not sure what they're mixing in y'all in your guys water in california maybe you guys are having too you guys are having too much uh, like bud light maybe y'all having too much rice in your diet that's why you guys are constipated I'm not sure what the actual F is happening in California. Y'all don't have uh, NASA computers? I heard that y'all were like very advanced though. I, I thought that you guys could like reach Mars. I'm not sure what's happening in California. Shout out to my Californian homies uh, that, that are awake. Not woke, the woke is a bad word nowadays. Sends me awake, a awake, review awake, code every single year. I never really play it. I mean, obviously that's why you don't see a lot of Call of Duty videos on this channel. Bruh. The game is literally Bruh. downloadable content. It just shows up as DLC for the last Damn. year's game. <laughs> this to me is absolutely bonkers because I've never seen just such a flagrant blase fair. Like they straight up do not even care to fix the code. Like this has to be a glitch. If they purposely are just listing it. Wrong. Wrong. Glitches do not exist in Call of Duty. As DLC to make sure you can't get a platinum trophy for their $70 massive release. Bruh. It just shows how much they don't even respect the consumers that yep. continue to buy their Facts. games. Facts. But let me actually take a look at this. Here's the other part of it that a lot of people are discussing. If you pay a bit extra, there's a special early access version of the single player. <laughs> single player. Hey, yo, to be honest, man, I'm not sure how many of emergency meeting, emergency meeting. Those of you that actually showed up on my stream yesterday, right? We were talking about this, that, yo, this is actually good because I was trying to think positively. I was trying to bring up some positive points. And we were having this conversation and I was saying, look, guys, listen, man, we, we complain, we justifyingly so, understandably so. If you complain, I get it, though. It's more than, it's not just a complaint. It's more than that, right? Because, I mean, damn, right? For the longest amount of time, they have been digging us down. They have been doing their fans absolutely dirty. And we were having this conversation that, yeah, okay there are negatives but let's talk about the positives and one of the biggest positive was that if you pre-order the game at least digitally not physically uh, god forbids uh because uh, you know they don't want you to return the game uh, you know if you buy the game digitally well uh and you, you 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 spend at least one second on it well you cannot there goes your your money right you cannot get a refund at least on the playstation at least on steam you have two hours not sure about xbox how it works but we were having this conversation that if you pre-order the game digitally, at least you can play one week early. At least there's gonna be incentive. We were talking about how we're gonna have data transfer from Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a recycle DLC that confirms it's a DLC, but at least, you know, that's a positive. We talked about it. Uh, and guess what, man? Suckers got their ranks reset. Not everybody, but a lot of people got their ranks reset. 
to level one. Bomboka. Because they played Modern Warfare 3 campaign early access for three hours, okay? Th three hours. They got, instead of getting their data transfer from Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3, they, they ended up getting their ranks reset, guys. So that happened. And, and we're figuring out that it's three hours only bro like this is absolutely sad though because you know suckers would would give examples of call of duty's campaign the story the the, the plot the the characters although I, from what i've seen macroff thank god they did not change that suckers gender thank god they looks he looks like a comedian though in the game okay he looks like a looks like a comedian you know what I'm but thank god they did not change his gender thank god the character feels alive and good uh, not as good as the original macro but i mean damn right he's a very strong character but suckers used to give prime examples of the call of duty campaigns you know suckers would always do call of duty versus battlefield campaigns and right now i mean damn bro call of duty this is not the game i grew up with man this is not the franchise i grew up with they they're doing the fans absolutely dirty though player campaign that started last night it's three hours long. If you actually buy this game, which comes out next week... They Dog, watch it on YouTube, man. You're gonna save $70. But if you care for multiplayer and you like it, liked it in the beta, I mean, yeah, then maybe, yeah. Then They've been doing yeah. multiplayer betas and stuff that honestly kind of suck. But the campaign, <laughs> some people really enjoy the fact that they at least look good. They're cool tech demos. They have great set pieces. This year's Call of Duty is boring. It's short. And once again... This is a full-priced game. Now, I've actually found this really interesting tweet here where this guy actually broke down the fact that it's just such a bizarrely bad game. He uses the word lackluster. Dang. Now, 99... Yo! Yo! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! What? No way! What? Yo! I know that's an like exaggeration right there, but like, damn, dude. I, I did not expect the homie James God, though, or James J. God, not James J. God. What am I even saying? Like, bruh, I mean, bruh. bruh. You feel what I'm saying? Tried to take my time with the Modern Warfare 3, <laughs> but it was over in the blink of the mind. Even if you take time, it would be over. Now imagine this, right? You tried to speed run this. No one tried to speed run this. At least I, I heard Codename Pizza tried, but I mean, damn, right? Like, imagine you finished the campaign once, and then you try to play it on the second time while knowing how it will end and how the missions are gonna be like and you try to speedrun you can complete this saga in 20, 2 hours and 30 minutes Bombocat. you fool i'm saying uh, saga did not even take any time 5.5 bruh he's being generous it's a 4 out of 10 let's be real though because 5 if you give a game more than 5 that means it's average it's not the best it's not the worst sagas are saying that it's a 7 out of 10 and saying they are disappointed i mean bruh mm -hmm. 7 7 out of 10 is a very good score, okay? 7 out of 10 means that the game is good. Sega's be giving it 7 out of 10 and saying they're disappointed. I mean, if you're disappointed, then it's like 3 or 4, though. You feel what I'm saying? percent of people are not buying the game for the campaign, but you have to That's understand, true, even if you are that tiny demographic, realize that the average Call of Duty is about 6, six to seven, 7 hours long. Yeah. A couple of the Call of Duties have had a 10-hour campaign. Damn. So even if you're just Those doing this gone, mathematically, though you are getting less content for the same price. Because this is, again, DLC. <laughs> this uh, how dare you call it a DLC? That's how those seconds are looking like who would say that it's not a DLC. I mean, bruh, bruh. It, it's a DLC. I mean, in-game code confirms it. I mean, PlayStation trophy list confirms it. I mean, damn, it's showing up underneath. And even the the, the homie, I forgot that second's name, who left Kotaku and now he's with... Uh, what's that second's name? What's that second's name? Jason, Jason Shrey, right? Jason bruh. Shrey. Even he did confirm that this year was supposed to be a DLC, but then later on they 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 realized that they're they're gonna have too much content, guys, for fans, uh, and uh, they decided to sell this for seventy dollars because they feel like that it's way too much content to fit in uh, for seventy dollars. You know what I'm saying? It says Damn, basic bro. missions and basic graphics. They're what you would expect, but there's no sniping style missions. There's no crazy cool stuff. Oh, wow. I mean, it's just straight up like wow. No wow. build-up, no suspense, no climax, waste of a cool villain as well. Damn, the yeah. open combat missions... I mean, Macro was good, we were talking about it. Like, from what I've seen, Macro was good, but they, they wasted that opportunity as well. ...were quite a letdown, a lot of missed opportunities to what they could have been. 
Perhaps the biggest marketing point they've been hitting over and over again about this campaign is And guys, this is that video where the homie Noah J456, Mr. T Lexify, uh, and you're gonna see a bunch of clips that, I mean, Call of Duty YouTubers are never gonna show you, right? Click on this video on the screen, check this out. Activision would hate for you, hate for you to see it. Check it out and I'll see you right